The reason really for AI detection. So that is a big topic. It's something that I think we all should be doing in our company, um, especially if we're delivering SEO content, right? If that's something we're delivering as a service, we should be aware of is our content actually rating human or is it rating as robotic? And I'll show you what that means. So the reason for this is on January 31st, like what, two weeks ago, <laughs> OpenAI launched their AI classifier. So this is a way, this is technology development developed now where you can distinguish between what's AI written and what's human written. So my goodness, this is just exploding. I feel like week by week, right? <laughs> There's something new coming out in the world of AI content. So now we have OpenAI's AI classifier. And what they're trying to do is alongside, you know, the launch of ChatGPT. Now this is going to tell the world, well, that was written by ChatGPT. So, you know, catch 22 here. <laughs> they're the same ones launching the technology, but they're also launching the classification for that technology. So you can actually use this for free. If you Google it, I think that's probably the easiest way to get to it. It's platform.openai.com forward slash AI text classifier. And you can actually take it for a spin for free. So if I was to put a content piece in here, it's going to tell me right away if it's written by AI or if it's written by human. So let me just show you, show you what that looks like. So I have a piece of content that was fully written by ChatGPT, <laughs> which I think you know my opinion of chat GBT, right? For long form SEO content, I'm like, don't do it because it just, it's not structured. It's lacking a lot of value. There's a lot of fluff. So chat GPT is like kind of bottom barrel whenever it comes to an AI writer for long form content. So let's just take a piece written by chat GBT and put it through. Again, we're using the open AI, AI text classifier. And this just launched January 31st. So when you hit submit, you get this and you know, not super detailed, not really helpful. And I'll show you a couple more tools that are more detailed and helpful. So OpenAI really just gives you one sentence. The classifier considers this text to be likely AI generated. Okay. Well, that's, that's accurate, right? Cause ChatGPT wrote it. And let me pull in something from continent scale. <laughs> Let's test that tool and see what happens here. So if if I pull in a piece of content that was written by continent scale on the same topic, right? Um, pillar content strategy was our keyword. I'm also going to show you a piece by Jasper that was on the same topic and they're letting me know I hit my max credits. Okay. That's a giant notification. So if we go back to the AI text classifier and we're going to put in content at scales blog and see what happens. So we hit submit. Look at that. Very unlikely to be AI generated. So that's interesting, right? Because we had chat GPT on one hand that was likely AI. So undetectable content is like, it's really the name of the game. Whenever you are using an AI tool to publish SEO content, you really want to publish undetectable AI content. So that's the official name for it. But the reasoning behind it is because you want to stay human. You want your content not to trigger that robot radar. Now that there's an open AI classifier, right? That just came out January 31st. So with this technology, it's going to be so easy for Google, the whoever's publishing the content. If you write for a guest blog post, publication, you know, they can find out immediately. So if I take Jasper's blog, which, you know, if we take a look at this and see, is it good? Is it structured in a way where, you know, the content is what it should be for an FDO blog. Like you need structure, you need headers, right? You need links. I think someone is unmuted. Could you mute yourself just so we don't have background noise? So if we're taking um, Jasper's, which this just launched, I don't know when, but it was recent and it's called the one shot blog post, you know, and I'm trying to have it write a 2000 word blog post and it just kind of sputters out. Like this just, it's a better piece of work than chat GBT. I'll give it that, but it's still not that good. So. Jasper's blog writing abilities are a little bit limited, but what's interesting is they're actually passing the classifier. So they're rating as unlikely to be AI generated. And if we read what OpenAI is saying about their classifier, they actually tell us that it's not always accurate. The classifier isn't always accurate. It can mislabel both AI generated and human written text. And what's interesting, this blew my mind when I was digging into why do certain words trigger these results. When I was digging into this, what I found, and I've been using, you know, all of the different detectors and I'll run through those 
next and show you what that actually looks like. But when I was digging into it, what I found was that a lot of humanly written content was rating as likely to be AI generated. What? You know, and then I talked to the writer and it's like, oh, I wrote that sentence, Julia. That was written by me, you know, and the writer was taking offense. <laughs> and then whenever I studied, you know, the word structure, the sentence structure, what was happening is a very, very classic problem that a lot of new writers, um, a lot of potentially non-native writers struggle with. And the problem is they actually write like a robot. So human content can actually trigger the result of AI generated if writers are writing like the robots. So these tools don't actually know and this is where it gets tricky. These tools, this technology doesn't actually know for sure if it was written by a robot versus a human. What they do know is how to predict how a robot writes. So hopefully that made sense, right? So these tools can predict how a robot writes. So don't forget that. It's not that they actually know, oh, this is a robot, this is a human. No, it's they can predict how a robot would write. So human writers that don't have that skill honed yet, that skill of writing, they're actually writing like a robot. So just, it goes back to like 10 years ago, right? When I started writing, started out on this whole path of educating, creating content, teaching writers, hiring writers. You know, I used to run a writing agency. We did 40,000 projects. And what I saw interviewing, you know, over 10,000 writers in those 10 years was that a lot of them struggled with sentence structure and flow. So this just brings us back to the basic drawing board of we have to become better writers, right? And then that's how we're going to pass AI detection. That's how we're going to stay in the human zone. But what's really cool, if you weren't here on my last training, you know, I went over this model and it deserves another mention. This is a model I've been building out based on, you know, what I actually worked out with my own writer at Content Hacker after, gosh, nine years of working together at a per piece, at a per project, per word rate. We are now on the new model of AIO and I'm paying her hourly. And it's a dramatic difference. It's, I get to save three fourths the cost of content and we're producing content five times faster. You know, and the tool we're using is content at scale to be able to do that. So there's an AI writer that's now the base, right? So we're shifting and this is something we can do because this technology exists, but we have to really do due diligence, run our content through AI detectors, make sure it passes. And then what I'm gonna show you is like how to tweak your content, right? How to make it better how to edit it because that is such a big part of this. So if you think about this model, you know, what used to be was human only content writing. So a human came in, wrote the base of the 2,500 words. You know, that took four plus hours. I've had writers need eight hours on that if it was a really in-depth topic. And now, you know, we can have AI write 2,500 words in five minutes. It's crazy. Right. If you didn't see that, that was on my last training. We actually did it live. And the cost of that is so much better, right? You're paying a lot less whenever you have AI generate your content. So then in the middle piece, we have editing, but it's no longer another layer of human. It's actually, well, it's, yeah, it's not a second layer of human. It's your first layer of human. If you're looking at the new model, right? So we're taking our writers and basically turning them into editors.